Looks like my van going, oh, there it comes. There it is. Oh, oh my goodness, hanging out there. Ass blowing in the wind. To get one of these in this year, this configuration, that's this clean, is just about impossible, which is why I had to look nationwide to get it. And I had to order it from Texas. in the doors good storage in the console good security lock on the sliding door good quality container lock on the back there little bracket and my buddy mark had a couple of these locks that fits right inside that hole so we're good on security so far So I bought this van simply so that I could bring you better entertainment. Now hear me out. I can't afford to travel all around the country, stay in hotels, and go to fishing locations. And although I've got friends, they are not always in the places where I want to go. I simply need a place to stay and camp. And since I live in the south, I'm going to need lots of air conditioning. The purpose of this van is so that I can go off-grid, air conditioning, camp wherever I want to camp and tow a boat. This way we can visit exotic locations around the country, find great places to fish and have a place to stay and it doesn't cost me a fortune. So as far as the purpose of this van, I'm not going to be living in it and so I don't need all the accoutrement that many of these van builders build into them. I don't need a sink, so to speak, and you know, I really just need a couple of beds and I need a place to edit some videos. And I'm going to have batteries and all that sort of thing, but it won't be quite as ornate because I will not be spending my life in it. It is going to be convenient, and I think I've got the formula for off-grid air conditioning, which a lot of folks are having a hard time with. So that on itself may be a reason to watch this series. You can see in the back here there's a swale like they were putting two ton barrels or something back here to bend this floor down like that it's not critical but what the hell is going on back here i'm gonna have to hit all these little rust spots in the floor uh with primer probably have to put some hammerite down and uh, seal this up really good before we put down insulation and uh flooring that is not good at all that is not supposed to be that way Oh, right behind the rear wheel too. So when you run through the water, it's gonna spray right up into this little hole right here. That's awesome. Gonna have to get that, that piece cut out and welded in. Gonna need a little patch in there. Little patch! This headliner is gonna remain until I'm about to put stuff in through the roof like a, a vent fan and things like that. I'll keep it now to keep the van a little bit cool, but eventually that's coming out of there. Warning, use of this product is substantially blah, 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 blah. So if you're thinking about building your own van, you're going to want to subscribe to watch the rest of this series. Otherwise, go fishing with us. Go travel with us. We've got a lot going on. Thanks a lot.